Well, hello there. So I'm just reading from the shock of the diagnosis from my mum, which I received from the psychiatrist just a couple of days ago. And apparently she has got moderate Alzheimer's. So we weren't expecting that. Dementia possibly, but Alzheimer's, that's a bit of a surprise to us all. And I've just discovered this place here. As you can see, it's called Friends of the Bias. So that's that lovely part of the world that my mother has loved to come to for many, many years. and. I'd like to take it here only very recently. So let's have a look inside. That's what's attracted my attention, really are two things. First of all, the fact that this looks like it's planted out as an orchard, which is delightful. And also, because when I cast my eyes over in this direction, I notice this little structure. So this is what we call a living willow structure. It's very popular in countries in the world where there's a lot of rainfall. And because we're in the northern hemisphere, quite high up the north, the kind of plant that does this very effectively is the willow plant. So literally what you do is you go and find the willow tree and cut these branches off. And literally all you do is poke them in the ground and then you poke one in the ground on the other side and you weave the two together to create an arch and once you've created one arch you then create more arches and until in the end you can create a space like this and this is quite a small one you can get them considerably bigger in fact and Glastonbury Festival is very famous for its uh, large sculptured structures made out of this material and the great thing about it is that once you've planted it, so long as it takes, so long as there's enough rainfall for it to produce roots, what then happens is it just keeps on growing and growing. And all you need to do is to keep on weaving the new branches into the existing structure and it creates this shape. So I'm very grateful to come across this and it's a nice little break from what has been obviously in my mind since. So we're going to have a get together and work out what the next steps are. Now we've got the diagnosis, see what we can do. And so there you are, that's me on a Sunday afternoon. Thank you very much.